Boy, you got to take care of them feet. Oh, Lord have mercy. Man, you got to take care of that feet. Man, I've been uh, working seven days at that plantation, man. Boy, you at least got to soak these things probably twice, once a week, man. Cause I, 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 got, I got flat feet. Boy, it's like them Flintstone feet, boy. Boy, I put some, I got these man up under my big toe. You know, the ball up under the big toe. Oh, man, that, that mug, boy, put so much pressure on my foot. My left and my right, boy. That, that callus thing for real, boy. That callus thing for real. Life is real. Life is real for real. I mean, once you leave, you heard me say it plenty of times. You leave about them doors, you ain't expected to come back. Sometimes, you might not come back. You know, so man, you should live every day like it's your last. Treat everybody like how you want to be treated. And just give your good energy out there, man. And maybe it'll come back to you in a different form. That's the God I believe in. You feel me? Oh, Allah. All of all. All of all. Mm, 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 mm. But like I was telling you, man, life is real. And... There's some crazy peoples out there. You can pray for them. You can give them a house, food, car, anything they could possibly want. And it don't mean nothing because they psychosis is going to outweigh all that matter. Do you hear me? Some people just crazy. Some people need to just be laid down. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry before before they go killing everybody else. She might just gonna knock him the mess on out, take him out to the ballpark, take me out to the ball game. You will be gone. But like I said, there's some crazy folks out there, ladies and gentlemen. And you about to hear some about this crazy individual, and this is gonna be like a reactionary video i want you to, to subscribe to ew uh, e w u body cam that is e w u body cam i for some reason man it's just it's been hitting me like this i'm getting hooked i'm hooked on the on the judges reaction in the court zoom court, I, the, the sovereign citizens i'm hooked on that i'm hooked on crime i cut, i get off of work damn that every day and me and my son, we watch the ID Network. I'm like, damn, something wrong with that? No, it's reality. It is reality, y'all. Y'all, this is better than the news. It is news. <laughs> do, you, do you hear me? Do you hear me? But, man, we got this uh, EWU body cam video. Shout out to y'all once again. It is entitled, uh, Killer Realizes She's Been Caught After Cutting Baby Out of Victim's Stomach. Ooh, can y'all believe that crap? To the degrees people will go. So it's going to be with me reacting. Let's rock and roll with it. Come on, tubers. Let's do this. And come on, audience. Holler. Holler at your boy. Follow me. And then you show up with a On October 9th, 2020, 21-year-old Reagan Simmons Hancock with... Raymond Simmons Hancock. Brutally murdered in the small town of New Boston, Texas. What made this case even more disturbing was the tragic fact that her unborn child had been ripped from her womb. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all? Who would go to the lens and go every inch to try to commit that crime? You finna find out. Get your coffee, y'all. But if authorities thought they had a lengthy investigation ahead of them, they quickly found that wasn't the case. Another baffling revelation surfaced on that very same day, leading them right to the monster who had been hiding in plain sight all along. Mm. Around 12 in the afternoon, 27-year-old Taylor Parker was pulled over by a Texas state trooper. Taylor Park. Taylor Park. This woman here. Diablo daughter. What the hell is this right here, man? 
This is some cray cray. And what began as a routine traffic stop. However, the officer was shocked to find a bloody Taylor holding who she claimed to be her newborn infant. She states that she's just given birth and needs to be taken to the McCurtain Memorial Hospital in Idabel, Oklahoma. Less than an hour away, Taylor states that she will not allow treatment for the child under any other place of care. When she arrives at the hospital, Idabel police are quickly notified of the bizarre chain of events, and they suspect that Taylor may be attempting to hide a monumental secret. Uh. This is a big deal. Yeah. Okay, yes, are you ready? I'm coming. Is she trying to leave? Girl in the hospital, y'all. She's in the hospital now. She don't want no shots for the baby. She don't want it. She's trying to leave. So everybody, you know everybody that gossiping, man. So I'm right, right there. Why she don't want no treatment for the baby? I bet that baby of hers. You know motherfuckers talking. You know they are. The ours, that's what's ours. Okay. Do not let her out that door. Okay. Y'all heard him. Y'all heard him. Do not let her out that door. Do not let her out that door. So she shows no signs. You won't. You can't check for hemorrhaging. What is HCG? It's a hormone that is secreted by the placenta. Okay. And if there's a baby in there, the HCG is what the hormone mandates going to get the nutrients and bring it to baby. Okay. So it's in mama's blood, mama's urine, mama's everything. Okay. And it stays up for six weeks. Okay. All right. It's taken off. You don't want no part. Of it. Huh? <laughs> you don't want no part of this. He took it off. He's the OB Joanne. Mm. Yeah, I was worried about all the resuscitating the baby. Oh, what did you just step into? Oh, it's a uh, interesting. See, look, 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 look. They don't break. <laughs> I told you, they gossiping, and they already conspiracy, like, they already seeing what's going on, you feel me? They already putting two two together, that baby ain't dead. And dude saying that the nutrients that will be in the mama, it will be in the baby, but the baby got it, but the mama ain't got none of that. So what that tell you? So, I think it's going to be that. Uh, yeah, because we've had Lamar County called here too. Lamar County, I talked to Texas Canada, and then Bowie County. So when I'm talking, and they're talking. I don't understand. They've never done this before. Why are they keeping me away? I said, hey, I'm just a year here. I said, I don't know why you're not up. Okay. Week. She's in there. She refuses to have a vaginal check to make sure she's not hemorrhaging. Ooh, they so they alarm the police who pulled up on the scene. Man, I told you, these workers are just. Man, y'all need to get invested in GoPros. I'm gonna give me a GoPro too. I'm gonna start investing in that, man. Why not have your own body cam? Body cameras, what's up? Done an ultrasound and eight CG, and it doesn't show that she's been pregnant. Okay. They have the placenta. Where is she? She is in the room. She no, is no. Authorities make their way to Taylor's room, where an unbelievable truth is about to be revealed. She's on the phone now with her boyfriend, so I'll try to sidetrack her a little bit. Look, on the phone with a boyfriend. Oh, Lord have mercy. Why the boyfriend ain't there? Woman, you about to go to jail. I can sit with her. Well, what Jen wants you to do. Just talk with the ER doctor. They took blood work, HCG levels, which is a hormone. It's not showing she was pregnant. See? And uh -huh. they're saying that the placenta, they can send the placenta off for test and whether it comes back to her or not. They were, she won't let her do a vaginal exam to make sure she... See, God, that's how God, that's how good he is. He ain't gonna let you get away with nothing. Nothing like that. How the, the mama had the nutrients and the babies had the same type of nutrients. And the baby got it and she don't. And the placenta thing too. Oh, Lord, have mercy. She won't. 
Uh-oh. Hey, look, hey, my name's Chad Sansby. I'm a... Oh, it's me I hate you up here, and I heard you brought your baby in. Did you give birth on the side of the road or something? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where was that here? In Kirk County? No, it was in DeKalb. DeKalb down in Texas? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So, so what happened this morning? Did you school in the labor on the side of the road? No, me and my... I was supposed to ride with my fiance, and we... We sell, uh, we own a whole buying facility, and we were going to come through here, but I was having contractions and stuff and wasn't feeling good, so I stayed at home and told him we would just meet here after he dropped the hogs at 7, and he got tied up. I mean, he's on his way. Okay. All right. Um, now, how did you get here? Did you drive yourself? No, an ambulance oh, brought me. Yeah, the slot met. Oh, okay. Taylor states that her fiance, Wade Griffin, will arrive shortly at the hospital. The nurses said that you weren't going to let the doctor check you to make sure you weren't hemorrhaging or anything. They did an ultrasound. The hemorrhaging is the bleeding. Um, whether you're passing clots or not passing clots, they, it's really good to have you checked for that because I know I was passing massive clots and they were about to start giving me blood. That's why they're wanting to check, to check out, you know, any damage and check to make sure you're not bleeding inside internally. That's why they're wanting to make sure. Well, that's okay. That's fine. I didn't know it was a big deal not to want the guy to do that. No, I mean, if you don't want to, that's up to you, but that's why they're wanting to check, just to make sure. Make sure you're okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a big deal. I mean, is, you've got blood all over you and all over your fingernails. and Boy, they showing gal fingernails. Now look like she, oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, boy. Boy, 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 boy. I'm telling you, ain't this some more interesting stuff? stuff oh man this matter is heavy that's a that's a pretty intense thing yeah it's scary you want to make sure you're okay although taylor is covered in blood some of it may not be your own did you do something wrong for them bringing me over here what did you have did you have a boy or a girl a girl a girl okay did you have a name clancy gale clancy gale It is wrong for them bringing me over here. What did you have? Did you have a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl. Okay. Did you have a name? Clancy Gale. Clancy Gale. <laughs> it is a good name. Clancy Gale. It is a good name. Give me your children. I have two. Do you? Um, Emerson's 10 and Trace 6. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm just going to be up front with you. I've been talking to the DA down in uh, Booty County and they've been working on a case down there and we know that you had a hysterectomy some time back and that you claimed to be pregnant for a while but it really weren't oh lord mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i said lord 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 trying to figure out where this baby came from. But you didn't get birth this morning. Sabías que beber un vaso de agua tibia. That you had a hysterectomy some time back and that you claimed to be pregnant for a while, but it really weren't. So trying to figure out where this baby came from. But you didn't get birth this morning. Mm. What, do you, what do you mean? So I just said, you didn't get birth this morning. And we want to know where this baby came from. Uh, so what happened? I just told y'all what happened. Okay. What's the doctor going to find when he comes in and check you? Is he going to find you just gave birth? So they can tell. When he looks, he can tell in about a second if you get birth or not.
Man, she looked like, oh, man, I'm messed up. You know you fucked up, don't you? You know you fucked up. You know you fucked up, don't you? You know you fucked up. Okay. Taylor states that the doctor will be able to confirm her pregnancy claim, but the truth can only remain hidden for so long. And then you show up with a baby. And the information on this, because you've had it, is correct. There's no way you could have been pregnant. Even though you've been telling people for a while you've been pregnant. There's no way you could have been pregnant. Why do women do that, man? Fake the funk on having a child? Why do they do that? I, she ain't the only one that did crap like this. But why? Why do y'all do that? Lie about y'all being pregnant and y'all ain't pregnant. That's so stupid. You lie to yourself. I didn't hurt anybody on the side of the way. Well, I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying that there's a, there's a woman that had to put baby removed from her body. The body's found in this hour, I didn't say you did. I just want to know what happened where this baby came from. Taylor goes silent. Who is the lady? Do you know who she is? I don't know what lady you're talking about. Okay. A few moments later, the doctor conducts a physical examination. The results prove that Taylor is, in fact, being deceitful. Ooh, let's go to doctor. It surely doesn't look like a baby came out of there. Uh, it doesn't look like she had a baby. It doesn't? No. Okay. It does not look like she had a baby there. Although the authority... Ooh, dog was like, nah, I want y'all to see this. Hell yeah, nah, I want y'all to see it's this. Anticipated. It's anticipated. Okay. Watch a few it. moments later, the doctor conducts a <gasps> physical examination. The results prove that Taylor is, in fact, being deceitful. So, it surely doesn't look like a baby came out of there. Uh, it doesn't look like she had a baby. It doesn't? No. Okay. It does not look like she had a baby there. Although the authorities doc, doc, anticipate that the doctor's findings, they're you, shocked nonetheless. You ain't to put this on my watch. only scratched the surface considering the other revelations that will soon come. Essentially what we have is we have a dead woman down in Texas and you took the baby out of her which caused her to die. And my question is is Taylor a cold murderer or is it something else? I mean sometimes people have, you know, they go through depression and uh you know, some mental issues and things. Causes things, causes good people to make bad choices. Right? And that's kind of where I'm here at today. I knew that doctor would never find anything. Because I knew, I already knew, I already know a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things I asked, I already know the answer to before I ask. I tell you, most of the people are going to assume the worst. They're going to assume you're an evil person. And that you just butchered this lady and left her to ride on the side of the road. So you still her baby. I don't think that was the case. I mean, you don't seem like that type of person. Man. I didn't kill anybody. Where'd this baby come from? We're past all of that. Taylor, we're past that. I did not kill anybody. I didn't kill anybody. So was she alive when you left? I wasn't with any, I wasn't with her. Taylor sticks to her story still claiming that the child is hers. Right now, the DA down there who I've talked to believes that you're a cold-blooded killer and that you plotted for the last eight months to kill to murder this woman and steal her baby. And right now, the evidence is there. They can prove it without a shadow of a doubt that that's what happened. They can prove that you murdered that woman. How heinous is it? Some woman, you know, everybody's happy, they shout showers, and then somebody comes along and cuts your damn baby out of your gut. Mm. If you could cancel uh, your cable and major... That's hard, ain't it? That's hard. What type of Mickey Ficky could do some crap like that? Yeah, right now. And that's what you need to understand. That's what happens. You have showers. 
and then somebody comes along and cuts your damn baby out of your gut. That's what we got right now, and that's what you need to understand. That's the point where we're at. We're past all this nonsense about, I wasn't there, I didn't kill nobody. We're past all of that. We know it. We know you did it. There's no doubt whatsoever. You didn't hurt. Are you sad she's dead? She just nodded. Is it the deal you just wanted a baby so bad that, that it just kind of overpowered your brain and everything? <laughs> it's been hurting. Yeah, it's been hurting. <laughs> According to Reagan's husband, Homer Hancock, Taylor had taken the couple's engagement and wedding photos, but she and Reagan didn't share a close relationship. However, Taylor claims that the 21-year-old mother told her to come over that day to apparently use her shower, since Taylor's water was supposedly off. So what happened? You go over to her house and what happened? Her lip was torn up. Did she say something to you to make you mad or something? Or... was present at the home during this time, to which she states that it was just she and Reagan. However, this would be blatantly untrue, mm. as Reagan's three-year-old daughter was inside of the house when her mother's life was tragically taken away. Did you take anything with you? I mean, some people carry knives, especially up here, but did you have a knife or a race blade or anything like that? I there's a knife in my in actuality, Taylor had three knives in her possession, all of which were found in her purse. Were you inside her house or outside her house? We started outside, then we were inside. Fighting? Arguing? Arguing? Okay. It looked, were you inside the house or outside the house when, the, when you actually, went, when it turned physical? She hit you or you hit her? She hit me outside. She hit you outside. Okay. Did she run back into the house or something? Did you go in after her or what happened then? She hits you outside and what happened? I hit her. She grabbed a hold of my hair and shoved me in the garage. Because I remember her hollering. Jennifer. Now this this broad crazy. This broad crazy, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it right there, man. I'm gonna let y'all listen to the rest of it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. But man, I stay away from crazy gals, y'all. Gals, y'all even stay away from crazy gals. Y'all know who them crazies be. Yeah, it is what it is on that. Real talk. But this is your boy Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, like share, and subscribe. Peace and the bottle of Hagrid's people.